In this module, we're going to take a look at Google Hacking. Google Hacking was originally thought to be a big joke when it was first introduced, but it's actually a very powerful tool for a hacker to use. By knowing how to make queries or advanced queries with Google, you can actually look for things that the administrator would not expect to be revealed. So what we'll do in this is we'll take a look at what Google Hacking is, what a hacker can do with a vulnerable site, the Google Hacking basics, advanced operators, pre-assessment, locating exploits and finding targets, tracking down web servers, login portals, and network hardware, and then, and then some Google Hacking tools. First off, understand that Google Hacking is the term for creating custom advanced queries in Google. By querying in specific manners, it can be used to detect websites that are vulnerable to numerous exploits and vulnerabilities, as well as locate private, sensitive information about others. It uses Google operators to locate specific strings of text within search results. Some of the information that the Google Hacking Database identifies are advisories and server vulnerabilities, error messages that contain too much information, files containing passwords, sensitive directories, pages containing logon portals, and pages containing network or vulnerability data such as firewall logs. Let's get started with some simple Google Hacking basics. First off, let's take a look at anonymity with caches. Hackers can get a copy of sensitive data without ever sending a packet to the actual server, just by getting information from a Google query. We can basically use Google as a proxy server. By querying against Google, Google can then give us information about the website without exposing who we are to the actual target. 